All right, my people, welcome back. So we've been to talk about uh, some terminologies where we will actually they see anytime we talk about this topic of heredity tree. We've been talk about allele or alleles, and we talk in an alternate form of gene where they actually they segregate during garment formation and they fuse randomly back or pair up back during fertilization. We they get one copy from one parent, from one from mother, one from father. We we'll also talk about the dominant allele. We mean dominant when we talk about the big one, we carry big letter. That one that they call dominant allele. We talk and say, now that one will be say in characteristic, they easily, they phenotypically seem, where they easily, they see them, where they physically uh, out there. For example, you get black hair, you get brown eyes, you know, those kind of phenotypes, or those things where they easily they see, it means say the gene they dominant. We also talk about the recessive allele where we link or liking to Android phone. We talk say dominant na iPhone, and we can't talk say recessive na Android phone. For example, all right, recessive na Android phone. Okay, so when you see Android phone, for example, now people where they get them, not they easily they, you, you know, they want to expose them, particularly for where people will get iPhone. They, I they encourage you to make you show them, oh, no phone me bad phone, my brother. I think they use them too. You get them, uh -huh. I still they use them too. <laughs> so that one a recessive allele. So we also talk about another one who we call homozygous dominant. Homozygous dominant in this case it means say you carry one dominant gene. We we'll carry big letter from Papa and want another dominant gene from Mama. So you go see them like this. You will get two big letter. For example, when we talk about gene of brown eyes, you go see say you collect one capital letter from Papa and one capital letter from Mama. So your eyes go they brown. You know me saying that only these two genes they actually determine you know the the eye color. You know it they very complex. Some books don't talk say we need about eight genes. Now they control the eye color, some toxin about three genes, you know, but we'll make them very simple just for the purpose of this lecture. So homozygous dominant, so if you still liking them to our example, homozygous dominant, Phoebe say you, they use iPhone with the dominant when people see them and iWatch. For example, when you come where people, they people look you, ah, they use iWatch, wow, this iPhone, ah, okay, wow, wow, they're very dominant. But for example, when they see your Android, some people not go really know which Android, just in an Android, you know, but they see iPhone, they say, ah, that one, the iPhone 13, iPhone 11, iPhone 12, iPhone 20. But when you bring out this one, they say, which, nah, how will it be that? I've been a Quang Chai, you know, uh -huh. people don't go easily know them. So they more recessive, people don't really, they see them. But iPhone are waiting, they really see. So that one might be recessive, you know. Uh, this thing, recessive allele. So now the next thing we feel to talk about, or what we we'll talk about here, now, heterozygous. Heterozygous. Heterozygous means say one na capital letter or one na dominant. They like this, for example, and the other one na recessive. So the other one na small letter, for example. So it means say, for example, you get one dominant gene of blue of uh, black brown eyes from your mama. And then you get a recessive gene of blue eyes from your papa. So the big one, this one are uh, dominant, this one are uh, recessive. So that one might be heterozygous. So it means uh, you get one dominant and one recessive. So it means that uh, for all this, our uh, people will be say that they use iPhone, but they're not going to use, for example, iWatch. If you be say they use iPhone, and then you use uh, one of these Android uh, watches with it. Uh -huh. That one they different. So it means say uh, the Android watch na Android, then the iPhone na iPhone, iPhone na dominant, Android watch na recessive. So if they heterozygous, it will not be the same. If not be iPhone, it not be iPhone. You get them? Uh -huh. So the next point na homozygous recessive. Homozygous recessive. Now when you get two small bees for example you the person inherit two recessive gene one from mama recessive gene about blue eyes for example one from mama one from papa you see them like this so it means say the person go get blue eyes sure you get them that one they call 
homozygous recessive. That in that case, it means that the person maybe the person they use Android phone and Android headphone. This one are Hua, Hua, Helios, not be even Huawei now Helios. <laughs> so it means that they use one Android phone and then they use another Android headset. So now homozygous, then they look they, they are alike. They are in the same category. Uh -huh. They are all together. Uh -huh. So those ones now they, they together and they are recessive. You get them. Uh -huh. So it's very very important for us to understand these differences in these terminologies. So this one where they hear so. This is homozygous recessive. Recessive because these are two like very recessive genes when they easily they express. But now since they're homozygous recessive, it go they expressed in the person. It means that the person go get blue eyes. This one now heterozygous. Heterozygous means say you get one dominant gene and one recessive. And in cases like this, now the dominant gene go actually they express. So if you get one gene for blue eyes where they recessive and one gene for brown eyes where they dominant in this case now the dominant gene go they express person will get power and the person will not to get power no matter how two of them they argue for to to fight for chair to sit down on top person will get power go still push the person will not get power come out we do one for primary school now you use your hands push the person come on <laughs> and then you sit down for your own seat so that one might be the heterozygous now, when you talk about homozygous dominant, it means say they talk about say two particular gene pairs, one from papa, one from mama, where they very, very dominant. Now, the next point what we will talk about now incomplete dominance, incomplete dominance, incomplete dominance. Now, the situation where we say uh, you get one dominant gene and you get another very uh, another recessive gene, for example, one dominant gene, let's say for blue eyes, and then one recessive gene, you understand? And these two different genes, maybe for one from mama and one from papa, then they fuse together. But the point is, say, the dominant gene, no comfort cover the recessive gene. So you know if it removes the expression of the recessive gene. So what can happen? They come blend together. They come mix together, come produce something different. So for example, now this one a brown eye, this one a blue eye. Instead of this case for this particular gene to cover this one and they make the person get brown eye, the person will come get, for example, green eye. Sure you understand. So this one now. Brown eye, blue eye, mixed together, can give you green eye instead of the person to actually get brown eye. So now incomplete dominance. So it means say this particular gene, no, they dominant. You know, completely dominate this particular recessive gene. They mix together, then blend together, then come produce a different brand. We can be different from their own independent uh, gene. For example. It be like person where we say you get uh, iPhone, and instead of you for to so can use AirPods or iPods or AirPods, anything where they call them this pod where they put for ear. Make I show you. Uh, maybe you know say I be. <laughs> yeah, instead of you to use this particular one where iPhone actually produce, you can go buy you know another type. Or maybe you can't go buy this one, this Android one. Can't connect them with Bluetooth from your iPhone. Can't use and they listen to music. The kind of sound where you go produce, instead of to produce an Apple sound or an iPhone kind of sound, you go produce a blend of the two sounds. So instead of that, you go produce something where you feel called iDroid. Idroid, so I for iPhone, Droid from Android, so you blend together, so produce something different, so it can't be Idroid. So you, you go to hear sound where we say the treble go day high, auto go day extremely high, the tenor go day, you know, in between, and then the bars go, you know, go even day more higher than you go just day completely mixed up. You understand? Now that kind of thing they happen when incomplete dominance day. So you get, but if you be actually use them with the one way Apple say make you use the sound for they different, the sound for they very smooth. 
So even if they pass we are network no today, the sound goes still there because the connection they very smooth. But the connection between an Android and Apple go they very different because they don't come from the same genetic makeup. They are different. The producers are different and everything they're different. Should be you get up now. Uh -huh. So that one they call incomplete dominance. So incomplete dominance. Now when one dominant gene and one recessive gene they, but the dominant gene no fit cover the effect of the recessive gene. Therefore, making it mix together and produce something where they completely independent of the two of them. Okay. Now the next thing now, what be co-dominance? Co-dominance means say, um, we die here, two of us must show. <laughs> You get some people will say there's you know there's no one leader here, two of us are the leader. We don't go come out here. Uh -huh. Now that one be co-dominance. No matter what, my brother, two of us die here, we there here. Now me be this. Now you don't go feel can't lead me. Now me there here. Two of us die go show. Uh -huh. Now that kind one, so it be. You understand? So it means these are kind of those genes where we say two of them must show. One of the typical examples of co-dominance. Now when you talk about this blood group or blood types. For example, A, B, blood type A, B. You know, blood type A, B, make I put that here. Uh, a, B. You know? So, A, now one different, <laughs> this thing, and B, now different. Two of them, the co dominance. They take it, so I know they come out. B say, B say, oh, more, you know, if you push me, come on. A say, ah, now me get here, now, say, you know, if you push me, come on. A say, okay, two of us go there now. You see, so they are co dominating. So when you they check the blood group of that person, you not go see only A, you not go see only B, you go see A, B. For that particular person, we get blood group A, B. So that one classical example of co-dominance with that. And you also feel CM in the case where we say, you see some of these uh, iPhone, whether they sell for Computer Village, we get uh, Google Play Store inside. <laughs> so when we say, if you check, if you open some Android apps inside iPhone, or the way they sell for... I don't know, market a hair. Now those one be co-dominance. Maybe say, oh my Google Play Store, I'm not gonna come up for this phone. Let me get this phone. <laughs> so that is exactly an example. Now that one be the example of co-dominance. So blood group A B, for example, now one classical example of co-dominance. So we say the two pairs of genes, they phenotypically present. You see them, you see their effect on the particular organism, on, on the particular person. Now we don't get to this other point, which will be phenotype. I don't explain a lot about them already, but I will go over them again. Phenotype, now the physical representation, the physical appearance, the physical presentation of your genetic makeup. So all the things we did for your body, brown eye, red, red eye, any teeth, big teeth, small teeth, you know, dimples, not dimples, those things where they show for person body, those characteristics, those traits where the person get, where they show outside, where people they see, now they, they call phenotype. Brown hair, black eyes, white eyebrows, all those things, now be phenotype. Then genotype, now the genetic combination of the person. So the gene pairs, how the gene they pair, and how the, the, the one are dominant, one are recessive, how all those genetic makeup they, you know, those genetic constitution, now that one that they call what? Genotype. It is very important, make you understand that genotype. So now the genetic constitution combination of a particular person. And now that genotype, now from inside that genotype, we will go further discuss some other things about DNA. Remember, we talk about so we talk about him the DNA, how DNA be, and all that. Now for that genetic makeup, okay. So we go discuss the other things for the next slide, uh, particularly this epistasis. Okay, make I just talk small thing about the epistasis now. Epistasis now that particular gene, you see, where they actually they cover or they mask, they mask the appearance of another gene. That gene where they talk say. Provide say idea, you know, go make them. You know, go show. Nobody could not say you there. Uh -huh. Now, they call epistasis. 
that one for Greek word, Greek meaning of this epistle means standing upon. If they stand upon the other person, say, provide the idea, you know, go make them. Then no, that one be a epistasis. So make I see for next slide. So I feel explain some other important terminologies about this particular point, and then we will solve some calculation and some examples of how all these things be for real medical arena. See you soon.